Graduate students in the program of Neurobiology and Behavior designed interactive exhibits for the Brain Awareness Week open house at the University of Washington. We present solutions to three challenges with respect to the effective teaching of concepts in neuroscience to younger students. The first challenge is engaging students. The most critical aspect of the design was for students to work together with exhibit leaders. We offer students a range of different interactive exhibits and ask questions relating to the activities to draw students in. They were also allowed to work in pairs so that friends could learn together. So how do we engage them? We made exhibits interactive so that students experience the phenomena. you to put the other eye on. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this eyeball, it's got tape on it, and you're going to walk up, and you've got to do it quickly or else it's cheating, all right? So you're going to walk up, hit the eyeball right on the face, okay? You think you can do that? Ready, set, go. <laughs> The second challenge is explaining difficult concepts. The use of interactive exhibits offer experience learning rather than text-based learning alone. After experiencing, students were encouraged to explain what they had experienced. Their explanations were clarified and then reinforced with a carefully prepared take-home message. A key here is that exhibit leaders ask questions, let students answer, and then either reinforce or clarify the concept of interest. So, you guys heard the term hand eye coordination? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, exactly. Your eyes are, are guiding the movements of the rest of your body based on where you are in space. Okay, so stop. Why is this hard? Oh, yeah, because like you're going opposite. Yeah. You're thinking, well, the star, I need to go left, but the mirror says right, so I need to move in the opposite direction. The mirror is Would we get the same sensation if we stuck, let's say, our hands in, or maybe our lips in? Versus if we stuck our elbow. Right, right. So, so you're saying that that there is not as many nerves in some places in your body. You're basing what you feel based on what you felt before. And do you think if you kept it in here, would it start to feel hotter, hotter, hotter? Or would, what would happen? Right, it starts to feel normal. Why is that? Yeah, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. Why? So I don't always feel cold or I always don't feel hot. The third challenge is being flexible and adapting instruction to the various ways students experience the phenomenon. Although we can predict how most students may experience the exhibit, what they perceive is variable. We try to be flexible, validate what they perceived, and tie it back to a neuroscience concept. Exhibit leaders share variations following the event in order to improve and be better prepared in the future. You can find more information including video demos and lesson plans at our website. 
These interactive exhibits can be used by other teachers to engage students and to excite them about neuroscience.